Hello everyone, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to extend an image in any direction using Generative Fill, a new feature in Adobe Photoshop. It's currently in the beta, but it should be going to the production very shortly. If you don't have the beta and you wanna install it, just click on your little Creative Cloud icon right here or wherever it is located for you, and then select Beta Apps, and then just pick it out and click on Install. Okay, so how did I do this? It's very simple to do. Let's start with a new image from scratch. I'm gonna go into my Finder. You may have a, if you're on a Mac, you have a Finder PC, you have Explorer. Go ahead, grab an image, and just drag and drop it in like I'm doing here. Once you do that, I'm gonna click on Open, and presto, there we go. We've got the Mona Lisa. Hello, Mona. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it just to be safe, so I'm gonna click on that little unlock button. And now let's get to work. The first step on the left side, you're gonna see your toolbar, select the crop tool. I'm gonna to select it this way. You can just press C as well. And now you gotta pick where do you want your pixels to go, so or where do you want to extend your image. So I'm gonna go ahead and extend this image down like this, so maybe I want her to wear a dress or pants or something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and extend it extra long. Why not, just for uh, giggles. All right, good. So now I've extended it with the crop tool. I'm gonna to hit enter to commit that change. Now the next step, I'm gonna to go to the left side again to the toolbar, grab the rectangular marquee tool. This is where you basically wanna select the pixels that you want Photoshop to consider for when you're extending the image. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select the top set of pixels, just kind of like that. And actually I didn't select that quite right. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it. And you'll see here that I've selected now the top little bit of pixels. And those are the pixels that I want them to consider when extending out this image. Okay, good, so there we go. Now the next step is you wanna click on Generative Fill. And when you do that, it now loads up this little toolbar where it says, hey, what do you want to see? I could type in what I want to see, or I can just go ahead and click on generate and see what Photoshop gives us. So if I don't wanna you know, influence it anyway, I just, whatever Photoshop is gonna give us, I just clicked on generate and let's see what we get. Do keep in mind that this is now being run off of the Creative Cloud servers. These are the Adobe servers. This is not run locally on your computer. So if you don't see this or if it's going really slow, that's a possible problem. Now look at that, here we go. We've got Mona Lisa, we've extended it all the way down and there she is, she's kind of wearing a dress and what the heck, there's a friggin' cat in there. Okay, and there's a cat, guys, how great is that? Okay, we didn't know that was in the original. <laughs> so anyways, this is awesome, I love that cat, but let's go ahead and click on one of these arrows to see what the other variations look like. This does not quite look right to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip that one. And then let's see this one. Okay, this is kind of cool, although this writing doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But there you go. And if you don't like what you get, you just re-click on Generate and it will do it again. And you can keep running until you get what you want. That's how you do it inside Photoshop. Thanks for watching.